So one of the ways that we're using the Beverly Oxygen Meter in the brewery is to test bright tanks before we transfer finished beer into them. Um, so right now we're purging this tank with CO2 from the bottom. We're coming out of the uh, CIP arm and going into the Beverly Oxygen Meter uh, where we get a live reading of the oxygen content in percent. Just want to have a close up of that. We're also using the Beverly to check finished beer in tank for dissolved oxygen. So Lance here is just going to demonstrate the process for how we take dissolved oxygen readings from beer in tank. So at the beginning of the reading, we want to fill the DO meter with beer, so we have the valve in a fully open position. Once uh, the chamber is completely filled, then we can restrict that flow back, and then we're waiting for the temperature and the oxygen reading to stabilize. After 30 seconds to a minute, the temperature and the oxygen levels typically have stabilized, and at that point we'll record it and we're pretty happy with that. All right, so we're just uh, setting up the DO meter to test cans for total packaged oxygen. So we're gonna start off turning the machine on. Um, takes about 30 seconds. We're not canning today, so these cans are warm at the moment, but it should be good for a demo. So if we just select measurement, we're in milligrams per liter right now, which is what we're looking for. So our process for taking TPO from cans, um, we've got a piercer here. We shake the cans for a minute and place them under the piercer. Then gonna pierce the first can and start just by sending some CO2 through the machine. And we're gonna really restrict the flow on the DO meter. Um, because the chamber is quite large and the tube size is quite large, um, you need it to run pretty slow to get an accurate measurement. So after running that for a few seconds, we'll put the plunger into the beer and start measuring beer. And again, we're just going to make sure we've got a slow flow through the machine. So we use one to two cans to chill the DO meter down so that the temperature stabilizes and the oxygen levels come down. After that point, um, you can measure you know, five cans in a row without an issue. I want to have a look at the reading right now. So the DO is coming down really quickly, um, but it's not all the way down yet, so hence the burner can. On this next can, even though it's warm beer, we should get a more accurate and stable reading now that the machine is purged oxygen. So quick and easy to use, pretty robust. We've been uh, using it for canning for the last nine months, and um, yeah, it's doing a good job for us.